We gotta fix that. We can make that look a lot better. But we need something to do the job that we need to sneak out of the house. For this next project, we need to borrow an iron because what we're going to do now is we're going to make these edges look a lot better by putting edge banding on. This is real wood and it's pre-glued so it's got heat glue on it so you just have to heat it up and apply it to your edges. And it's the same birch that the plywood is faced with. So it'll make it look really good. I'm only gonna do the two sides. I'm not gonna do the edge in the center because the center may get skinnier or may get larger. So I'm gonna hold off on doing that until I actually put it in the van. But we're gonna make these look good by applying this edge banding. Come along for the show. All right, so my first tip for doing this edge banding and being successful at it is put the iron on cotton. That's the temperature the iron should be on. And make sure that no steam is coming out. So find the setting to turn off the steam because uh, that, that can scare you a little bit when it starts shooting steam out when you're in the middle. Uh, also, um, I, I haven't used an iron in more than 30 years to iron clothes. I've used it for a lot of other things, you know, little projects here and there, but I mean, I don't know about you guys, but if I want to de-wrinkle something, I throw it in the dryer and put it on high heat for about 15 minutes, shake it and smooth it out as I put it on, and that's usually good enough. If it's really wrinkled, I'll throw an ice cube in and it'll kind of help steam the wrinkles up. But, I haven't used an iron for for closing. I, I can't remember the last time. Anyway, the next thing you need to do is measure out this edge banding and get the length that you're going to need. And I'm going to need a piece that's 54 inches long. So you want to make sure that you get a piece that's longer than that. And I'm going to go an extra two inches out, which may be wasteful, and then just break it off. All right? We'll use the rest of that later, and we're going to focus on this piece. Now, there's lots of YouTube videos. I'm sure a lot of woodworkers have YouTube videos on how to do this edge banding, but it's really very easy. All right? I go over the wood first with the iron. The only reason I'm doing that is to warm it up a little bit. All right, they don't tell you to do that, but if it's if that wood is cold, this will help speed up the process. Then you just simply put the edge banding on, and the edge banding is just a little bit wider than three quarters of an inch, and then simply hold the iron on and move it along as it heats up it'll heat the glue up and that glue will stick it to this wood permanently and if some of it comes off then all you have to do is reheat it 
and it'll stick back down again. Now if you stay in one place too long, you could burn the wood. That was a little dot of glue that was on the top. That's not where we want the glue. Oop, it slid off. Well, I gotta heat that up again. Wasn't paying attention to that. But that's easily fixed. Just peel it up, move it over, and apply heat and pressure. So even if you make a mistake and it slides off like that, easily correct it. And you go along the full 52 inch length. Centering as you go. Make sure it doesn't slide off like that again. Run your fingers on each side, you can you can feel ooh and it's hot. Ooh boy. And that's pretty much it. So after you've done that, you can take a file and run the file along the edge to take off that little excess. You could also use a trimming router bit and run along there. They do sell uh, little handheld trimmers with a razor blade in it that will slide along there and take that little edge off. It's so little and we're not going to do a lot of it. I didn't feel it was worth it to buy into one of those, one of those special trimmers. I'll just take the orbital sander and run across this or the file and run across it and true up that edge. That adds a nice finished look to this edge, much better than leaving it like this. Although it is in the garage, so that wouldn't be that bad. The cost of this edge banding was about five dollars, five, six dollars. So worth it to make it look good. Well, I said I wasn't going to do the edges, but since I had the iron out, why not? Easy to replace, and it doesn't cost that much. So I went ahead and did the edges also. Now we're going to sand it down and see how it comes out.
one of the things to look out for with this edge banding is where they put two pieces together to continue the band and I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera but this right here they actually put two pieces of wood together now if you're going to finish the wood I don't know if that's going to show up and be an eyesore when you stain or put polyurethane or any type of finish you might not even notice it but I found that in a couple pieces and I tried to avoid it I did get it without noticing it in one of the pieces I put on today but this isn't fine furniture this is just a bike rack so I'm not really that concerned but it's pretty amazing how they're able to put that together so perfectly that it's difficult to see so I will be putting a finish on this to seal it up so when I do that we're gonna find out if that pops out a little bit more and, and you can really see it anyway onward and upward if you like these videos please give it a thumbs up if you've got a van build in your future or you're already living in a van please subscribe and take a look at the previous videos I've done about building the van. Thank you for watching.